today is the day. It's Saturday, the day after I picked up all of this Mocky gear. Mocky, I don't I keep saying it wrong, I think. But yeah, picked up all that gear and now that today is the dreaded day of sorting it all out. So what I'm doing, I've already started. My mate come round and uh, was, I was just showing him me stuff. So I've already started, I've done the galv boxes draw. So what I've done is put all my 20 mil, 25 mil singles there, 25 mil doubles there, 47 mil patrices doubles there. And then I'll also put some 47 mil singles, sneak them down the side there. So. That's my galv box draws. So first fix draw. Second draw I'm on to is going to be your fast fixes, your surface ones, and also malleable ones at a surface. So there's loads of draws I've got to fill up. It's just a tedious thing of filling them up, but as sad as it sounds, quite a few people I was interested and quite a few other people are going to be interested on how I've filled up my draws. Obviously, I'm filling it up now, and then when you start using it, you swip and chop and change things anyway to suit your needs so in the van i've seen quite a few people on top of the van vaults like here where i'm putting my two sets of the uh, drawers i'm going to put like a runner down and screw them onto a runner so i can pull the runner out and then have the milwaukee pack outs here above so i don't gotta always climb into the van when i want certain things out if it's like blocked in Another cool thing about these pack outs, they come with all these red dividers in and the big long ones. So as you'll see here, I've put them down the middle to keep them all separate and it does come with these ones. The little ones, they go across the middle like so. Obviously, there's loads of stuff in the way, but it's fully customizable to how you want it. The thing I'll just add is all this stock, all these goodies, got loads there. I'm just sorting out all these back boxes, all this. Everything here, obviously I've already done a video in the past saying where I've got it all from. So it's all from Expert. They kindly sent it out to us. Uh, we do stuff, we work with them all the time. And obviously you can order online and it gets, it gets to your front door next day. Um, and Nick's got a discount code. So Bundy10, use it on ch checkout and you get 10% off. Yeah, that's why it's Bundy10. Had a, had a moment. It's a Saturday, had a moment. Um, but yeah, I am just need a bit of energy really to do this. It's very tedious. My, my mate come round, he says... Why you've got to do that on everything? I was like, yeah, it's not it's not as easy as it looks. It is easy. It's just soul destroying. Just sitting here sorting it all out. Bottom one, galve boxes. Top one, all your surface boxes, and then I've got three compartments spare. These are just two extra ones that won't fit there. So I'll once obviously I've used those two. I've got three years. So I can later on once I get into it, I can put some more extra bits here. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. And then also you can pull this out, push that up, and then push that in, like so. So then it locks it so the drawers don't come out. But the drawers don't really come out anyway. It's just another feature for when you're in the van. So the next double one, I'm going to fill with sockets, switches, and everything, I think. Or do I? Mm, I'm still deciding as I make this up. As you can see, that is lovely weather outside. It's literally just stopped raining as soon as I put the camera up which is typical but it's actually been thrashing it down so this is where we're at galv boxes then so these are going to be the two bottom drawers in my van then in this one I've put my double sockets single sockets a few spurs on like the edge like an L shape singles two gangs and then here I'm going to get some uh, intermediates and what's the other ones intermediates and triples so yeah they're all done then this top one got the black whisker boxes there the wool black little coffin ones there and then we've got some uh so yeah i'm just gonna put them in there for now i think it's one of you you're gonna do stuff and then when you start using it you're really gonna find out where you want stuff this thing's doing my head in as well I keep hitting my head on it i'm so bored of sorting all this stuff out i like it but then i'm so bored it's like uh, but yeah, and I don't have any energy. Energy, energy, energy. That song just popped into my head. Um, yeah, so this is what we're going for. Obviously, it's going to be on the runners. You're going to have like your two. I'm going to probably end up swapping and changing it around. But I'm going to have my two, my two there, and then the three and the four on top, and then the slim ones on top. I'm going to be carpeting all this. I'm going to be getting a big bit of wood, wedging it all in there, having some more stackers on there. But yeah. So we've got galv boxes, more boxes, and in this one, we've got all your socket switches, uh, fuses, fuse spurs, single sockets, 
this one. So I ended up putting the Wago boxes in here also, just with the black stuffers and the white stuffers, just for, at the moment, normally, obviously this is way too much stock to carry around as such, but you know what Wago boxes are like, like, I'll go to a job tomorrow and end up using about five of them, so, yeah, they'll go like hotcakes. So that's the van. These two, oh, I've just smacked my head as well. And anyone else has a Ford Transit Connect, this thing is lovely to hit your head on. But this drawer has literally just taken me about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to sort out. But, oh, look at that. So we've got the fire grommets, the 32s, 25s, and 20s. We've got some 50 mil 3.5 pins or terminal screws, whatever you want to call them. Some 35 mil ones, so your standard size, some little crimps for your armoureds. I'm going to get some bigger ones for your gas bonding and some other crimps as well. So I'll have a little reshuffle here and move all this lot up and then get the smallest ones there, medium, then your gas bonding ones. Then I've got the piranha nuts there for armoured cables. Got the washers which correspond with the bolts and the nuts together. There is different size bolts in there, but they're all M10s, they're all M8s and they're all M6s. So yeah everything's in order got a heat shrink got some wall dogs here in the corner this drawer here it's going to be the cable tie drawer so i've got my big cable ties white and black ones then here we've got the little ones here we've got the cable tie sticky bases which you stick to the underside of cupboards or anything like that if you're doing the led tape so that's that in here oh i've not done that one yet and this one it's going to be your silicon drawer so i've got my fire fire mate what do you call it Fire shield, fire mate, whatever you want to call it. CT1, so multi solve, peel tech, super fast. The dividers, I need to get some more dividers to sort this out. A silicon gun, and then I'm also going to get some actual CT1 and PGB, and uh, yeah, a bit of everything in there. So we are a lot further on in the day. Lots of more cardboard boxes later. But I'm pretty much there, pretty much done. But I'm not going to show you right now. So we've got all of these all sorted out so it's the next day and it's still raining typical english weather it's probably worse today look at this gross so yeah it's about 12 o'clock i had a bit of a lazy morning kind of to be fair i've been doing loads of like quotes pricing up loads of jobs and stuff like that yeah it's like getting used to self-employed life like if you ask nick to do a quote he'd roughly know like the cost of materials on certain things just because he's done it for so long whereas i'm like obviously looking around seeing if that looks about right still learning at the end of the day which obviously that's just life isn't it running a business you you don't wake up and then suddenly you're a millionaire you just well you might do but well, depends what business you're in um uh, right let's stop waffling i'm off to screw fix get some bits and bobs some bits for the van like some wipes some gloves if i'm going in the loft tomorrow working away tomorrow so if we're working for a youtube subscriber got me off youtube been backwards and forth on email and then yeah so i'm working for him tomorrow i don't know if i'm filming but yeah so i've got to prep a few things for that we are back from the shop don't know what this is most electricians does anyone else know what this is or this rubble tub i think you just put your materials in it don't you you don't put rubbish in it but yeah got some bits and bats from screw fix so just wanted to keep in the van like some disposable gloves when you go in the loft uh, just general little bits and bobs just handy to keep in the van um, there was just random bit of silicon, uh, it was like on offer, so I got a bit of that. Obviously we normally use CT1, but it was just on offer and I thought oh, it's just another little tube to keep in the meanwhile, if I need it. Uh, and then I got some wipes. Oh, let's get these out. So before I've only ever used big wipes, but they had these on the counter. So yeah, and I've heard quite good things about these. This apparently they uh, stay wet for longer and they are much bigger. Like they unfold apparently. One of my mates was telling me about them and they were only 13 quid I think. So I thought, why not? I'll give them a try. So yeah, and then some tape and bits and bobs. But yeah, mainly it was like getting a rubber tub, dustpan and brush. Obviously I've got the Hoover. So yeah, and I'm probably gonna have a poorly neck in this van because I keep going like this. This video probably has been a bit boring, but this drawer here is what we're going for. So I've sorted this one out. Got all sorts of bits and bobs in here. This is more like your armoureds and nuts and bolts heat shrink kind of drawer. And then this drawer here. So that's what I'm going to do. Put loads of dividers and stuff like that. This side, I've started putting the dividers in. And this one's going to be my conduit drawer. So I'm going to have all my metal conduit, 20 mil stuff, 25 mil stuff. White conduit, 20 mil, 25 mil. Black conduit, 25 
Uh, what else have we got? Trunking also in here. So I'm going to put some trunking stuff here, like what um, sticky back trunking accessories, like the corners, the bends. Just yeah, loads of little bits that are like time savers and life savers, so save going to the shop a hundred times. Oh, I've put some bits and bobs like this new conduit installation set, some ratchet handles, some more arm egg stuff. So loads of bits and bobs that I want to keep in my van just for get you on them out of them rainy day situations like in here. Let me open this up actually. So this is the set. So these are the new drill bits. Oh, I probably should have got this out before I started filming. These are the new drill bits. So they've got a stop end on them. And they're five, five bits. So they're great for your uh, red plugs. And obviously they've got a stop end so you can't go through the wall. But yeah, there's them. Obviously your hole saws. Then the uh, rockets to do up your bushes and lock rings. I'm doing some, uh, doing some insulation with the lock rings tomorrow. So I'm gonna give this a go. Yeah, the double slimline stacker. I've just kind of filled with miscellaneous bits and bats here. So we've got the fuses. Freeze, five, thirteens. You got some wall dog screws, some Optimax wall bite ones. I think they are. Them ones are both similar. They just don't require red plugs. Some bigger screws, some smaller gold screws, um, some more terminal pins, some closed grommets. I thought these are quite handy in case you uh, drill a hole in the wrong spot and you got to fill it up, or even just putting a grommet in and then just piercing it a little bit and then poking the cable through. It's just Stuff like that might save your bacon one day. So this is the deeper one as such, rather than the slimline ones. This is going to be your generic day-to-day -day thing that you carry around with you. Taking most jobs, so your red plugs, your screws. These are the plasterboard fixings. And then they've got the nice pan-ed screws, I think these are. So they're a bit thicker, like a little mini washer on the end. And then your grommets. Uh, what else have I got in there? I meant to put some in there. I meant to buy some. I forgot to buy some. So I remembered what it was. I was meant to buy some washers, but I forgot. I have got some in the big stacker, but I meant to buy some, like a load of them to fill that up. But oh well. So you can see a size difference here. So these are the slimline ones, and there's the uh, big one. So it's like double the size as such. So this slimline one, we've got all your two five clips. Eventually, I will be getting like a Milwaukee cable stapler. Um, I'm going to look at investing in a spit nail gun. A few other things just to facet make you installed quicker more efficient but for now just a good old traditional uh, like i say i still need to fill this up it's just what i had but it's more of the case finding where stuff goes so yeah organizing it so the way you go tree that that those in there obviously i've got my wago boxes in there so what i'll do is i've got me pack out crates so they're just empty crates you can put like your wagos and i'll carry my materials in in that and then obviously you just throw the Wago tray in because this is handy to take up in the loft with you. Or what sometimes I do do is put the Wagos into each Wago box, then take it up as a whole. Right, I'm aware this is probably the most boring video ever, but it's a video. And I thought quite a few people ask me what I've put here and there. I'll do obviously uh, more, say in two or three months time, I'll do a full rundown of my Milwaukee gear again. The new stuff I probably bought or how I've chopped and changed things to adapt it to make it better and more usable for me as an electrician. So yeah, thanks for watching. Catch the next one. Bye.